Sweet girl. Hey, it's okay. Mama's here. Mama's here. I'm here with you, okay? Okay, so like in all my horse experience, I've never... Bev, please. I've never seen this. Ever, have I ever seen her lay like this? Beverly is very interested in all that we're doing. And my sweet girl here. I just, I don't think y'all realize how important that she is to me. <laughs> and if it means sleeping right out here in this pasture, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I don't want her to struggle any more than she has to. I don't want her to have to worry about anybody else messing with her. Like all of the things that are running through my head right now on what to do. I've, I've messaged Dr. Priestley again. I've messaged Courtney again. I sent some videos of her feet. Uh, the boot will be here tomorrow that goes on her foot. Um, I'm, She's not excited about boots, not not in that kind of way. But I'm gonna keep working on this, cleaning out her feet as best as possible. I know you can't see very well, but we have a lot of help and a lot of love to go around. So, more to come. I don't like this. I don't like, I don't like the fact that she's down. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy she's resting. But I don't, this isn't a very Dixie moment right here. Bev, you're annoying me right now and you're making it worse. This is not good. This is actually terrifying to me. This is, I feel like a catch 22 right now where I know that being off her feet is resting her feet, but I also know that this is, This is bad. I don't know what to do. Okay, so like in all my horse experience, I've never... Bev, please. I've never seen this. Ever. Have I ever seen her lay like this? And it's freaking me out. Because I don't see her breathing. Baby. Bev. Dixie, are you okay? Are you okay, love? It's okay, you don't have to get up. I just am here. I'm here petting you. Okay. You get comfy then. Oh, that freaks me out bad. I don't really know. If this is like her just wanting to relax, just stretching out because she's in pain, or if this is, and then I see this happening and that means that there's something also wrong with her teeth or maybe her head, which would be something that's freaking me out even more. But in all my Dixie time, I've never seen this. And Bev won't leave her side. And I'm I'm frustrated with Beverly because I want to be down by Dixie's side. And I want to see what's going on. But you can see that Beverly here is demanding that she be front and center. And she is her best friend and partner. I know. I know, love. But, um... That moment there just freaked me out a little bit. And, uh... The way that she's breathing and frustrated to me tells me that something, something's big and wrong. And I, 
I just don't know what to do here. And uh, for people who are horse people, I would welcome the advice, that's for sure. And all of the dogs are out here with me exploring, I guess, and wanting to see what mom's doing. And Beverly is being very protective, but also being <sighs> Beverly. I'll just say that. Baby, you okay? What can mom do to help you? Hmm? What can I do to help you? I see it in your eyes. And it hurts my heart. And I'm seeing you be in pain. Beverly, you better stop being rotten. What can I do for you, Dixie? I know, baby. I know. I am way out of my league here, y'all. Way out of my league. This is freaking me out so bad. This is the second time that she's rolled on her side like this. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was able to get in and clean out her feet really well. But this is... This is scary for me. Really scary for me. Sweetie. I know, love. I know. I just don't know what to do for you right now. And I'm so sorry that I don't know what to do. And all the people that I text say that I've done all that I can right now. And it's just a waiting game. And your mom sucks at waiting, okay? Okay, Jamie, pull it together because she can feel this. Yeah. I'm going to pull it together, baby. She's breathing so weird to me. Baby, why are you holding your breath? Dixie? Baby. Sweet girl. Hey, it's okay. Mama's here. Mama's here. I'm here with you, okay? I'm right here. It's okay, baby. It's okay, love. I'm right here. Sweet girl. It's okay. It's just Bev. It's just Bev. Does she freak you out? Okay, baby. I'm gonna see what I can do for you, okay? It freaks me out because I don't see her breathe anymore. Well, so what we did, friends, we listened to her gut. And so her, uh, we talked to Rick on the phone. We've talked to Courtney. And uh, we're taking the advice of both of them. I and sent Priestley a text message, and she's the one who told me that I could give her this. Priestley, uh, that's our vet, has uh, been giving Jamie instructions to try to get something down her. Um... She won't take it though, so Rick says try to maybe get grapes or an apple or something that has, you know, holds. Beverly, you can't, we're not looking for love right now, baby. But uh, Dixie is definitely not feeling well. And um, I want y'all to look what she's done on the, along the ground here. She's kind of thrushing herself around or thrashing herself around. And so we have calls out, we have text out, we've FaceTimed. And so what we've been told to do now is try to get her up. We need to try to get her up. That's the word right now, right? Get a halter. Get a halter so I can get this in her and we can get her and up. And then try to get her up. Okay. 
I'm glad we got lights installed out here. All right, Jamie found a way to get her up. That's good. Let's try to keep her walking now. It's always scary when you have a baby who's not feeling well. Hi, baby. It's just me. Just me, baby. She's giving us quite the scare. You want to put a halter on her? Yeah. Try to walk her around? You want to do it? Hold yep. Me. Hey, baby. I'm going to bring you some grapes in a few minutes. Beverly, you don't need a halter, love. Beverly... Beverly, yeah. you don't need a halter. Don't let her bite you, baby. Yeah. Beverly, you don't need a halter on. She needs a halter too, babe. She has one. Well, she wants it on right now. If she goes, if Dixie gets one, then I get one. I gotta do this. Beverly, you don't need that medicine either. Girl, don't you want the snack? Come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta walk you around a little bit. Oh boy. Okay, now come on. See, that makes me feel better whenever they're eating. Yeah, but Beverly, please. Come on, baby. Oh, that would be a bull hole. Come on, babe. Got it? Yeah. Beverly, you're being very annoying. Come on, Mama. Look. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Beverly will show her how to do it. Beverly is so wanting to be a horse right now. Don't tell her she's not. Beverly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Beverly's come on. gonna back up so you can scratch your hiney. I know. That's what she thinks is all. Beverly, about. Beverly, we're not out here to scratch hineys, baby. Come, come on, here, baby. I'll scratch your hiney. I'll do it. Hold this, baby. She thinks I'm gonna make a deal. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. That's a good girl. Come on. I know they hurt. Come on, love. So you think that she softened the ground up for her feet? Yes. I mean, I know that she's laying down and, and that's, that's not good. Like, I feel like we have separate issues going on here. Okay, so here's the good thing. She's eating. And I just, I just, I'm going back to human science. And if you, the doctor says, hey, how's your child's demeanor? What's that, their appetite like? Yeah, but in a colicky horse, they'll keep eating. Oh. But they can't expel it. And part of my thinking around some of that is obviously the lay on her side stuff. And... But, but more so because so she hasn't had the same mobility this week because of her feet and they need that mobility for circulation and for digestion and she hasn't had it so she's not drink she's not drink, taking herself to the water as often as she should so the dehydration the lack of movement can very much lead to colic and eating is really the last thing that she needs she needs to, what she really needs yeah. is water only in a stall all right well let's go Put her in a stall. The only. Don't move too fast. Come on. Are you ready now? 
All right, so let me ask you this then. What would be the harm of just bringing a bucket of water out to here? I did three times and she and she tipped it over. Just knocks it over. So I, she actually took a drink the first time, did this tongue thing, which again leads to a whole nother thing of do her teeth hurt? Which is a whole other like third separate thing. And then she literally took the bucket and like threw it at me. All right, well, no one can say that we haven't exhausted every resource We've had vets, we've had farriers, and we've had the smartest horse guy that I know on a FaceTime just now. And the vet can do is come out and put fluids inside of her to hope, it, but that's only like problem one. Like right now I feel like we're dealing with three separate problems all at once. And I just don't. I know that other people go through this. They just don't make videos of it. <laughs> yeah. And um, we're making ourselves really vulnerable in this situation by... Well, yeah. There'll be a hundred people tell us what we could have done, should have done, what they would have done, what they have done. But I cleaned out... I mean, I made a video of me cleaning out her feet while she was laying down. And her feet don't even look bad right now. They're sore. She's had a really rough week. She's very sore. Yeah. But then you add the potential of colic. Then you add the potential of her back hurting from the way that she stood all week. Then you add in whatever this is, which started like as she was laying down. Well, right now she's just trying to lick all that medicine out of her throat. She doesn't like the taste of all that stuff. You just forced her to take the medicine that she doesn't like the taste of. She wants it out of her mouth. That I wouldn't worry about that. That's not why she's acting the way she's acting. I would think my biggest concern is all the th thrashing she was doing on the ground over here because this was not here earlier. And this is a this is a 15, 20 foot path. She's just Trixie. Baby, we're trying to make a serious video here. I love you too, Beverly. Don't worry. Don't be mad at me over the medicine, okay? It's going to help you feel better. I promise you. Okay? I'll be back out here to check on you a little bit. I want you to walk to the water, though. Okay? And just in case, I'm going to get you a bucket. Here. Hey, kitty. That makes you really happy. Yeah. Beverly, don't knock it over. Those two belong together. Think about how when Beverly was sick, had her little injury, how Dixie was all trying to be sweet to her. Mm -hmm. They're soulmates for sure. Soul sisters. So worried about her. Is she yawning? It's a, that's a pain thing in the horses. A pain thing? Mm -hmm. But you gave her a painkiller, right? So that yeah. should kick in at some point. Pretty soon. And is that pain in her feet, you think? It could be in her stomach. It could be in her feet. Well, I do know that she needs to drink a lot of water. I need to sleep out here. 
Oh, Lord, Jamie. Oh, baby. I'm so sorry. Well, Beverly's not too concerned. All she wants is hiney scratches. I see that. Beverly, you can't take anything serious. Maybe that's a sign that she doesn't think that Dixie's that bad off if she's just so nonchalant, like, no, she, Dixie's this is fine. This a jealousy thing right here. <laughs> she wants the same attention. Don't you kick that bucket. And she's like, get her butt out of my face. Look at... Yeah, she's going to back up further and further until she gets all the scratches she needs. you to rest tonight, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> you get good rest, okay? Oh boy. I love you, Mama. I love you so much. Oh, pain meds kick in. Please say a prayer for my girl. I think she needs it more than ever.